Uh, this is how to make a gel with a mini one system. Uh, this uh, fairly small and mighty system contains a lot of engineering marble in here. Uh, number one, I know kids don't like to be neat, but basically we have a lid, so everything can be put back into one very compact place so that if you're a teacher and you're doing this in your classroom, this is very easy to put away. You don't have to lose parts, you don't have to track anything. Every system comes with one of these things. It comes with two trays, and these trays are made with fairly thick bottoms, so they are very good in terms of repeated casting with the hot agros. And it comes with two sets of combs. And these combs actually are fairly unique. They are designed so you can look, uh, uh, make six well gels or nine well gels. And the reason for the nine wells is because if you're doing PCR, you have an extra well for the eight samples that normally people run in an eight strip PCR machine. The six wells are good because they can load a lot of DNA and the band now looks beautiful and they are about the right size. The other thing about this uh, comb, if you notice that the two ends are different, so you can only go in to the casting stand one way. And the reason is these combs, uh, when you look at them, they're actually bevel. By bevel, I mean they essentially, if you look at them, they're like this, okay? So that what happened is that you can you'll still get very, very sharp bands, but the, uh, the opening of the well becomes much bigger, so it's much easier to load uh, without sacrificing the sharpness of the band. So you always want to bevel and, of course, facing out. Uh, in the direction of migration, and that's the reason why you can only have to put the combs in in one way. So the way you do that is you just put the tray in here, in the unit, you put the combs in, oh, there it is, you can just put it in one way, and um, then we have these gel cups, which we'll talk a little bit about uh, later, which makes the casting of the gels very convenient so that now you can actually cast the gel and have it ready to run in about 10 minutes. These are gel cups that contain cut up agros bits, which makes it dissolve much quicker in the microwave. And this also contains the dye that will stain the DNA. The, the dye we use is called gel green. It is heat stable, and that's why we chose it. And it is already in the agros. And when you heat it, it's already, everything's ready. All you gotta do is just pour this, and then the comb is inside. And the comb actually, the reference point is right there on the tray. So it doesn't go too far down so you don't end up making gels with holes, with wells with holes in them, which is sometimes can happen. And then it sits about 10 minutes. Uh, in 10 minutes, it's set. When you're ready, you pull it off, and then basically you have the gel ready to be put into the casting, into the running tank. Okay?